it had to take this occurrence for us to start talking about and taking action. Fighting against domestic violence in San Diego's Filipino American community. This after three Filipino women were killed allegedly by their husbands. Our ABC tennis reporter Laura Acevedo shows us how advocates are trying to raise awareness. This was the first of several forums among the Filipino community. The goal is to talk more openly about domestic violence, discussing things like recognizing red flags and how to get help. San Diego County prosecutors say these three local Filipino women have all been killed by their husbands in the last six months, all cases of suspected domestic violence. What is going on? Why aren't we fighting? for resources and help. Joanne Fields, the director of the Filipino Resource Center, has had enough. Noticing the domestic violence trend, she organized a forum to talk about the subject, inviting DA Summer Stefan, San Diego police, and Mary Chris Drule, the sister of Maya Miliete, the Chula Vista woman missing since January. I wish, I wish I've known a lot more about domestic violence. Maya's husband, Larry, is charged with her murder. Mary Chris says she had no idea her sister was in trouble. I didn't see it coming. I, I didn't know. I didn't know she's been suffering. I didn't know she's been suffering from domestic violence. DA Summer Stefan talked about the red flags that include a partner sure isolating the victim and wanting control. Also, what's called a triggering event, which can be the victim deciding they're done with the relationship, like filing for divorce or seeking a restraining order. Stefan says resources are available at every step of the way. Also, in assisting victims throughout their journey so that they can come out the other side and be safe and live lives that are free of violence. The next forum is at Southwestern College on November 19th. In downtown, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. And if you or someone you know needs help getting out of an abusive relationship, you can find resources in this story on 10news.com.